so hello everybody it's Jill beauty 87 back again um i had to charge my battery because it died when i was trying to start this eye look for you all on the other side so i'm glad i hadn't blended anything yet but this look is with the soul blooming palette like i wanted this palette for a while after i got the dreamy one when it first came out but i heard people saying it wasn't that great and then the dreamy two just came out now along with like a few other palettes that had come out through the years but i still wanted this palette so when i ordered the foundation to do the review for you all which is what i'm wearing right now i just went ahead and got this palette too and i was like i want to do what i look with so bad obviously the colors that drew me in were like the purples these peachy tones are really nice too but it was like this little part right here where i was just like yeah because this color is definitely unique to my collection i still have the light like you a lot palette and it has a similar color in it but it's nothing like this right here like this right here was just like it was life to me and the dual chrome was nice not that i don't have similar dual chromes like i have one from luxy beauty i forgot the name of it i think it's called omega and it has the same kind of shift to it but i was like since this is in the palette we're gonna go ahead and go along and use it so i literally just use this color right here this color right here and this is on the lower lash line to give it a pop and then the other pop that's in the waterline is unlimited blue by um makeup forever this wasn't as smooth as i thought it was going to be first going on i had to like build it up a lot to get the little bit of color that you do see underneath the eyes so just keep that in mind these the brighter colors aren't as pigmented as i, as I wanted them to be but anyway let's just get into this video because i've waited long enough and then i still have to upload like all this stuff for next week so i'm gonna upload as much as i can today and then the rest we will do tomorrow i did the if i can only keep 10 palettes challenge but y'all know my ass is extra so i actually had 20 palettes but like i said I, in that video i gave a disclaimer about how y'all know i keep makeup in my boyfriend's house i keep makeup in my grandmother's house and then i keep makeup in my house so like obviously the 10 i was keeping would be in my house and then i wanted like five options for his house and then five options for um my grandma's house so that's how i did that video i got cut off at 17 though so i got a cut off at the last like three i needed to tell y'all about so i'll leave in the description box below with the last three bros because i just got cut off and y'all know my lazy ass is not about to try to edit the video to add them last three on so we just gonna talk about it or i might just post it on ig and tell y'all which ones i picked because i was literally like at the last three and then it just decided to cut off and i was like ugh but I think I did pretty good considering, you know, like I had like damn near 20 to show and I got through like 17 before I got cut off. So I was like, bravo to me, sis. Like, bravo. But yeah, this palette performs just fine. I don't know why people were saying it wasn't as good as the first one. As far as I'm concerned, it's just as good as the first one. So that's why sometimes you just need to follow your own opinion instead of listening to what other people review and say because sometimes people review and say stuff and i like totally disagree with what they have to say about it so like it's good to just you know follow your heart and do it yourself because i could have had this palette for the longest time and worn this look about two or three times with like a cute floral dress i was living my best life thinking i was sexy but me listening to like mariah leonard and jay kisser saying this isn't as good as you know the other one i just missed out on a couple of great spring and summery looks but that's okay i just know for next time to follow my own heart like i should have in the first place and just bought the damn palette but since it was coming all the way from italy i didn't want to take the risk but it's good i waited because i got the 40 percent off of this palette along with everything that's on my face like the um eyeshadow like the um foundation and concealer though i'm happy about that now that it's warm to my face i like it a lot better when i first tried it in the video for you all that you all will see next friday i wasn't feeling it as much but now we're going to go into the sparkly color. It's called Garden Gate and it is just gorgeous. So I'm start putting it on the lower lash line and then we'll get into like the inner corner layer. But I was trying to decide if I should put liner on but I was like, yeah, I'm feeling like I like it without liner. So I'm going to just keep it without liner. But you know, if you want to put on liner, be my guess is. But y'all know my liner is technique is not that great. Plus I would want to put on like a colorful liner with this and I don't think I have one. I have some sparkly colorful liners but I don't want... Like fall out of sparkle all over my face. So I'm like, I think we're just going to leave the liner situation alone today. Cause... And I washed the majority of my brushes while I was waiting. So I only got these few to wash. So I might actually just wait till tonight to wash them before I leave. Because I just don't feel like doing it right now. Along with uploading all these videos. The IGTV video finally went up for this lip combo that I have on. So you can see like all the stuff in action if you'd like to. It took 500 years for it to do. And then I started another one. Of course when I started the other one. Then that one wanted to match like God how it's supposed to. So it's going to end up with two. But I'm going to just take one down. And the last video I have to film is the um. Oh yes I'm feeling this eye look. It's a vibe. 
um the last video i'm filming is the giveaway video and you all will see that one sunday along with the kkw um video i'm saying it now but like you all will have seen all that stuff before you see this and uh, why i'm mentioning it i don't know but anyway my thoughts on this palette so I think this palette is wonderful. I don't know why they said it wasn't as good as the Dreamy one. I will pull out the Dreamy one, but it's in here already. And I did do a look with that one, too, for you all for a throwback, even though it's not Thursday thing, because I'm kind of having a theme of Nabla the entire next weekend. Um, So, this will be the last video you'll see. You'll see this one on Sunday. You'll see the foundation one Friday, and then you No, you'll see the foundation one Saturday, and then you'll see the throwback, even though it's not Thursday video, obviously, on Friday. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend this palette. Um, the sale is over, I think, already though, so my bad, but, like, this is a gorgeous palette, and I'm definitely here for it. I actually have a lip color that matches this eye, if you all remember from last year's, um, Chasing Rainbows video with ColourPop. They had a make-believe lipstick that's literally this, almost the same color as this, so I'll probably put that on later on tonight. They have me nice, a nice little unique lip shade. I'm gonna take a picture of this now, and then I'll take a picture of that at night, and then you all can let me know which lip you like better. I think I'm gonna like this one better, though, just because, like, the eye is already popping, and then the lip to match the eye, I feel like it might be a little too much, but I'm still gonna put it up and you all can let me know what you think or i might put on the sparkly gloss so i think i'll do all three and then see what i think but i'm gonna go eat lunch now so then i'll put the sparkly one on after i take a picture of this and do all that anyway hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds and i'll see you next one bye guys